your inside takeaway is wrecking your golf swing. It's causing more problems further along in the golf swing that you may not even be aware of. In this next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix it fast and easily, regardless of what handicap you're on right now. Sound good? Keep watching. Start playing incredible golf and lower your handicap today with my free three secret moves video, link in the description. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks so much for watching. So your golf takeaway is too far inside. So if this is you, you're set up to one here and your club is getting pulled way too far inside, this video is for you. Now, why is the takeaway inside such a bad thing? Well, for starters, and this is what happens with most players if you fall into this category, and this is important to, to go through this because once we know what it causes, we can really look at what to fix and then it all sort of ties in together. So usually for most golfers, when they pull it too far inside, the momentum of the club ends up pushing it across the line at the top and you can come down steep. You might not do an over the top super steep like that. That's probably really exaggerated, but it has the ability to make you come down even a little bit steep. And even in just a little bit steep can cause massive issues and making it more challenging for you to make solid contact. So the two main faults while you're, you're struggling with this and once we go through these, I'll show you exactly what you can do to fix it because they all tie in together. If I'm set up to one here, first number one I see all the time is lack of wrist cock. And what I mean by that is these wrists hinging up like this. If I was to make a takeaway and I have zero wrist cock or, or hinging up like this, watch what happens. That club just gets pulled inside it doesn't matter whether I've got a drive or whatever iron I'm using, if I don't get any hinge up or wrist cock, that club just sucks inside, comes inside all day long. Very, very common. You need to get that, that hinging up motion. Now the other one is too much flexion in that trail wrist. So from this angle here, the trail wrist pulls back like that. And as soon as you do that, club comes inside. So way too much of that right wrist really taking over for a right hander and pulling that club inside. So very simply how to fix, and I'm going to show you two excellent drills that tie in with this, so make sure you stick around for that. First thing we need to do, we need to get some upward motion. So as I'm set up to one here, you need to get some hinge up in your takeaway. If I don't hinge up, I do that. But if I get a little bit of hinge up, you can see there, it's much easier to keep that club head outside of my hands or in line with my hands in a great position. All right, so we need that hinge up. Now, the other thing you need to do is with that right hand, you need to keep it fairly passive. All right, we don't want it coming back like this, what I spoke about, we want to keep it nice and passive, almost like you're gonna shake someone's hand who's right beside you there, in this sort of spot here. Same sort of feeling. If I can think about doing that, shake someone's hand, that club and that takeaway is in a fantastic position to finish off the backswing. You probably notice a trend on the PGA too, I certainly have. I'm seeing a lot of pros doing this as their rehearsal on their swing. They're setting up to the ball and they're doing this and they're pausing. This is before they hit a shot, pausing, pausing, and they're going, going ahead and pulling the trigger and making their swing. And for me, I believe what they're doing is really focusing on that takeaway, making sure the club head is outside the line of their hands or in line with their hands. They don't want to be back here because they know that's a death move in the golf swing. I've seen Justin Thomas doing this, Ricky Fowler, Sanjay Im does a lot. His take, his back swing in particular is getting quite slow, but what he's doing, he's really focusing on getting that club in the right spot and then finishing the golf swing. 
So it's a really important part of this takeaway to get the club head outside the line of the hands to help you play more consistent golf. Now make sure you watch this next bit. I'm gonna show you two fantastic drills to build this into your game. Okay, before we dive into these drills, if you think this video will help you out, make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing as well. That really helps me out, appreciate that. Okay, two great drills for you. So the first one, what I want you to do, is gonna set up to a ball. I want you to take that right hand off. I talked about earlier about that right hand having a habit of really pulling that club inside. For this drill, I want you to take it off, just put it down your side here somewhere, and just hold it with your lead hand or your left hand for a right hander, and just feel a takeaway. And what you'll find, you find it's really easy to get that club on a beautiful path in the takeaway without even putting too much effort into it. You get the natural wrist cock up. You haven't got the right hand pulling the club behind you. And it's a great drill to practice getting that club in the right spot in the takeaway. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna turn this into a swing and you can do this as well. I'll set up to one here. I'll take it off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the right hand at the end of the takeaway and complete a swing. Attach it. And through. That's a great way of practicing fixing your inside takeaway. Now the other one I wanna show you by the way, from face on, just to give you another angle here. And attach there, finish the swing, and through. Okay, so the next great drill for you, because that hinging up is a real problem I see in a lot of golfers, what I want you to do, get up over a ball. I want you to do a, a little hinge up with your wrists just before you make the swing. Little hinge up and then finish the swing. And you'll find that little bit of wrist cock, that little bit of wrist hinge at the start, is enough, it's only gotta come up maybe an inch or two at the most. That's all you need to get your swing off to a great start. Really simple, so from this angle, just slightly in the air, let those wrists hinge slightly up and through. Let's demonstrate one doing exactly that. All right, we're over a ball. Let's slightly raise it. And through. Those are two powerful drills that I know will fix your inside takeaway and get your whole golf swing firing again. Now I've got an important video coming up because this covers the transition from the backswing to the downswing to help you play even better golf. I'll see you on it. It's coming up.